With Black Friday and Cyber Monday finished, it's time for many to give back to the community. Giving Tuesday started as a grassroots movement in 2012 and has since raised more than a billion dollars in online donations. The day is a major fundraising day for nonprofits across the country. Reporter Phil Bergman headed out around Omaha to see how nonprofits were hoping to give back. At the Nebraska Humane Society, kittens and dogs bring up anybody's mood. On Tuesday, Omaha citizens have the opportunity to give back to nonprofits like this. Giving Tuesday is so wonderful. It sheds light on the needs of an organization. It allows you to showcase and to tell some of your stories. Across town at the Open Door Mission, instead of giving funds, volunteers are learning how they can give their time to help. It's about giving back to the community and we want everyone to be involved. For the last seven years, Giving Tuesday has become a national craze. Giving Tuesday is a great, um, a great resource for um, nonprofits to be able to raise money. But donors should watch out for lookalikes and scammers trying to take advantage of the generous spirit Americans have at this time of the year. Um, so make sure uh, that if you're giving, that it is actually the charity that you want to give to, not a, a look-alike or a sound-like charity. The BBB recommends to watch out for pop-up donations that may show up while online shopping. And if you're still worried about a scam, make sure that the company has a 501c3 status. This is used for charitable donations. If they're not a 501c3, then they're not a charity. And we want you to give, but we want you to give wisely. And if you're worried, do your due diligence. I want to know, you know, what I'm supporting and um, if they're fiscally sound. Research for organization, it's always nice to give locally. Reporting in Omaha, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now. The BBB says to go to give.org and check out the charitable accountability standards to see what percentage goes to the charity.